New York City. Hello, everybody. Today, I will talk to you about farts. Did you know an average people will fart about fifteen times, and some as high as forty times? So, farting is very normal. You probably don't mind them, but sometimes the unpleasant smell couldn't that make you take it. But most of the time, the unpleasant smells will come from the food that are high in sulfur. Because we eat too much of the food that are high in sulfur, which is why our fart smells like rotten egg. Mm. This kind of everyday food will make sulfur really hard to avoid. If you can tahan your fart smell, then gong si ni. You can skip this video. Monster. If you don't want to embarrass yourself, I've got four tips that can help you to reduce the amount of time you fart and maybe the smell. Number one, chew your food well. The more quickly you eat, the more air you swallow. Those gas has to go out somewhere, so chew your food slowly. Number two. Add your fiber gradually, because the sudden increase intake of a fiber will cause your stomach to fart excessively. And so add gradually and slowly. By gradually increasing your fiber intake, will help your gut to sequence the amount of fiber you're consuming, and this can prevent your stomach from producing too much gas. How are you gonna do it? So, for example, let me teach you. If I want to eat apple, a lot of apple, I don't start with three apples at the same time. I will first start with one apple this week, and then I'll add on the apple two next week, and then three the following week. Yeah. Number three, avoid fizzy drinks. Carbonated drinks and beer can cause gas to build up in your stomach, and also a lot of air can enter into your gut if you drink through a straw. So limit the amount of fizzy drinks and go green by not using straws, and your fat won't contribute to global warming. Number four, watch out for dried fruits and processed meats. These foods will cause you to produce a lot of wind in your stomach. If you eat a lot of this kind of food, this could be one of the reason why you're producing so much gas. So limit them or cut them off could be one of the solution you can go for. There you go. Four ways to reduce farting. But if you have these symptoms, for example, stomach ache or bloating, constant diarrhea or constipation, losing weight without trying, or even poo in your blood, this could mean that your gut has some problem. For example, you might have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, celiac diseases, or lactose intolerance. Please go to a doctor to seek for medical help. And after you seek medical help and you're properly diagnosed with one of the above that I've mentioned, or even other cut problems, then please ask your doctor to refer you to a dietitian, because dietitian is an expert in this area where they can help you to adjust your diet and bring your farting or other symptoms down and improve your quality of life permanently without medication, because medication can only stop your problem temporarily. Visiting a doctor is not enough. Seeking a dietitian can stop your problem forever. Because they help you to adjust your diet. I've come to the end of my video. Hopefully, this is helpful. If you like this video, please remember to like and comment and share this around. Thank you. Bye bye.